In this tutorial, we will learn how to combine several bracketed photos that creates a DNG file with increased dynamic range. The resulting merged DNG file behaves like a raw photo for further editing. This can be useful if you have a scene which has hard to capture extreme ranges of exposure in one shot. In this example, we will merge these three exposures together. For the best results when merging your own HDR sequences, shoot three shots with approximately two EV between each one, and use a tripod to avoid significant differences between each shot. Make sure the brightest photo has enough details in the shadows for your end result, and the darkest has no overly bright highlights. It does not make sense to edit your photos before merging to HDR, so save that step after the merge has completed. To begin, select the photos you want to merge like I have done already. Right click on one of them and choose Merge to HDR. A dialog box appears with these options. Choosing Auto Adjust will provide an immediately pleasing result with details and natural contrast. The tools included in the auto adjustments are exposure, contrast, brightness, high dynamic range and levels. These adjustments can be further tweaked or removed after the merge. Enabling Auto Align helps photos that are not perfectly aligned. This makes it possible to shoot without a tripod, but it does increase the merging time. When you're ready to merge, click Merge. Depending on your hardware, number of photos and resolution, the merging process might take anywhere between 10 seconds and 5 minutes. When the stitching is complete, you will be notified if system notifications have been enabled. Otherwise, you can always find your merged HDR next to the source files. As I had Auto Adjust enabled, you can see the adjustments here in these tools. Like any other photo in Capture One, I can adjust these as necessary. The resulting DNG file has a far greater dynamic range than the individual source photos.